Welcome everybody to our project control innovation channel on YouTube and today is gonna be the second lectures in Primavera P6 version 17 and as you know in Primavera you can manage scope, time, cost, risk and earned value. We have mentioned before that our channel is a dual language, easy and smart training on the live software and practical and to the point and we're gonna add out of fun and to animations to make the course very funny and easy for anyone to manage the software and let's start with the second lectures in Primavera P6 version 17.12 So we'll start today with the toolbars. If you understand the toolbars and the layout and the function of P6, after that the software is going to be very easy for you. When you open the software, you will find the first one is the file and under the file you will find new when you make a new project, open current project, close and set up like what you have in Excel and other software. And the second one is uh, edit and by edit you can cut and paste and delete and we'll explain that when we go to the live software after that we have the project and under the project you will find all the tools that can help you manage the project like adding activity adding resources assigning baseline adding expenses uh, any document to the project or threshold issues so this is activities or this is tools based on the project levels after that you will find the enterprise and enterprise it is for the company when you're gonna manage all the sections of the company like highways airport and building and under the enterprise toolbars you will find the project you will see all the project of the company you will find the enterprise project structures which is called EPS if you divided your company into transportations project water project and building project you can find all of that tracking is helping you tracking your project showing the delays and the layout portfolios if you have many programs and you would like to add many program of work for your company if your company is very big you can do that and group many project under the portfolios to open them together and review the status and measure any delays you can assign resources uh, rules which important resources OPS we said the OPS is the organization uh, uh, breakdown structures it is a staffing plan from the general manager to the last employee in the company and you have under that resource codes when you'd like to group your resources by codes project codes if you'd like to group the infrastructure project by codes the water project by codes and building project by codes it help you a lot and you have activity codes this is an activity levels and you have the user defined field and calendar and resource shift if your resources is working multiple shift you can do that tools the tools is gonna help you manage uh, uh, the schedules like calculating the dates early date and finish date you can do this by f9 or go to toolbar and press schedule here you will find level resources if you would like to level your resources and you will find here what's called apply actual or update progress you can do that or if you prefer to do it manually I do prefer to make it manually and we'll explain the other function here like the store period performance and all the kind of report we'll explain all of that when we open the software When you open the software, you will find that this layout is called layout, and you will find the toolbars here on the top, and the shortcut underneath. And on the left side, you will find the activity tables. Right side, you will find the bar chart, and 
down here you will find activity details and we will explain each one of that this is the activity details that we're talking about it's starting from general status resources codes relationship predecessor successor notebook and the document expenses summary will go through each one of that as we said that the EPS or the enterprise project structures is the highest level in the company and under that you will find all the project and under that you will find the WBS which is the work breakdown structures and under the work breakdown structure you will find all your activity the OPS as we said that is the organization breakdown structures the staffing of your company and you, why we do that we add all the resources here so that you can assign responsibilities if you have many project managers foreman and you would like to assign each one of these to each project to measure and to give accountability for each project you can do that We will talk about this duration types because it is really confusing and I will tell you which one I'm using and what is the default in P6. So we have fixed duration units. If you would like that the activity duration remain constant but units and time to change, use this one here. And this one is a task dependent activities. I am concerned about the durations. I'm not concerned about the resource so you can choose this uh, 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 function here. fixed unit over time if you want the resource unit per time to remain constant so the resource is constant when the activity duration can it change you can use this one here and this is resource dependent activities Fixed duration and unit over time if you want activity duration to remain constant and the remaining unit to change then use this one here and this is task dependent activities as we said. The fourth one here is fixed unit. If you want the activity units to remain constant when the duration or the resources unit per time to change use this one and this is a resource dependent activity. In fact, I'm using the default, which is the first one, because I'm very concerned about the activity duration. When we open P6 Live like that, we said that you will find here the file menu, and you will find here all the functions like opening project and uh, 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 creating a new project, close and page setup, when you can set up your page, print, import and export and the second one here is the edit menu when you can cut and paste and add and delete and find like excel view here when you can see your layout the one i show you in front of you like that is called layout and what you can show here on on top like tables or you would like to go, go back here gantt chart and you can see also here show on bottom if you would like to see the activity details if you would like to go and see the activity tables like that if you would like again to go and see the details and you have also here if you would like to see the activity usage if you're gonna have the resources and something like that and also you can find here activity usage profile when you add all the units you can draw all the remaining labor and the remaining late labor here you will find project and you're gonna have here activities resources wbs assign a biz line if you would like to assign a biz line to your project a primary biz line and will create that and here maintain a biz line you can make your current project as a biz line like what i'm going to show here convert uh, uh, save a copy of the current project as a biz line 
and all the expenses and document and we say we mention also about the enterprise that it is in the enterprise levels and we explained all of this tools also we talk about tools f9 and liver resources and all this kind of stuff and here help if you'd like to do help we mentioned that that this shortcut here it is the same like the one in the toolbar i'm gonna go for the this one here is very important group and sort now we are grouping and sorting the project by wbs let us try to group and sort by calendar like this one here and apply and then you go here and collapse all so you can group your activities by the calendar assigned to your activities or you can go back and i need to group and sort by the wbs and you can see all the levels of the wbs WBS you can go from here left side here is the WBS and you can see your WBS that we have created before or you can be here and we can see all the activities and okay let us talk about if you would like to link activities to link activities you have two options by the way I would like activity A to be predecessor of, active, of the new activity here I will highlight both of them and right click and then I will do link okay if you do that and you go here view show on bottom and show the details and you go activity A and the relationship you will find here the new activity is being assigned okay if I'm not happy about this relationship the finish to start I would like to make it a start to start and then I will press F9 here to reschedule my 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 project so it's gonna do the calculation again and show you the links okay if you would like to go and do the ties like that by the way i would like to tie this activity here i can go like that sorry for this i have to go here until i see the arrow and then i will go and tie it like that here like this one here it work right now okay so you can draw the links like this or you can go and highlight the activities and you can tie the activity so we know about creating the wbs and we said you're gonna go to the wbs and you create all your wbs and you have to agree with your project managers how you're gonna create or manage your project and after that you go to this tab green tab here it is the activities and you can go and by the way copy and paste and you can add in activities you like I'm gonna call it here activity by the foundations like that and then I would like to have the new activity predecessor to the foundation I will highlight both of that and then I will do link I will go for the duration I will make it 20 days and then I will go here to F9 to reschedule my activity and you see here so now we have learned how to create the WBS, how to create the activity and to link the activity either by highlighting them or by drawing the links like what I have done here. It's very really easy and you can do it very fast. Okay, let's go here to the activity details and uh, we'll have here general. General is going to show you the activity ID, the numbering system here is called activity ID and here's the activity name. By the way, if you call this here, anything like forms, okay, you will see it here. And here's the project name. This is a task dependent. We'll talk about this in the previous uh, part, task dependent. And I'm using the default here that I, I have explained to you guys here, the fixed durations and unit, because I'm more concerned about the duration. Here we have given a lecture about the percent complete. And in P6, you have the duration, the physical, and the unit here. If you, if you design activity or procurement activity that you would like to measure the progress based on the duration, use the duration percentage. If you have a physical work on site like foundation, excavation, and you would like to add this manually, use physical percentage. If you're concerned about the units and you're going to measure the progress of each activity based on the units, use the unit percentage here you have the calendar you can assign any calendar to the, your activities and here it shows you this activity 
which assigned to this WBS. And here is the responsible manager that we talk about it. And we said we're going to do all the OPS. And here is the primary resource. The second tab here, it shows the activity ID, name of the activity, and also the project name. And under the duration, you will find your original duration, actual duration when we go and do our updates the remaining duration and at completion duration plus here you will find the total float and the free float we have explained that the total float is the float on the critical path if this activity is delayed more than 85 days it will delay the project completion date free float zero so if this activity is, is only delayed one day it will delay the successor activities so the free float affecting the successful activity and the total float is affecting the overall project. The second one here, you will find the start and finish dates and you'll find any constraints if you'd like to assign any constraints. And here's the person to complete and also here the suspend if you'd like to suspend this activity at certain date and work on another date, you can do that. And here we'll find the budgeting and the actual and the remaining uh, duration and remaining of the budget and add completions. So when we assign all the units and adding the resources, you can find all of that uh, uh, information. The resources, when we go and assign the resources here and we'll add the budget unit, actual unit, remaining unit, and you will see all of that when we go to the updates activity codes when we go and add activity code to help us uh, 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 managing the project the relationship here it shows this activity what is the predecessor and what is the successor which is the following activity and what kind of relationship is there any lags a start and the finish of the successor and the, and the total float of the activity the notebook here if you would like to assign your any notebook and add any comment you can do here i hope you like uh, lecture number two which you go through the overall uh, information about uh, p6 the activities the links the wbs we'll continue for ne uh, next lectures on the steps and all the other tabs and we'll go and uh, it will be very hot lectures because we're gonna go and do the uh, the resources and will explain the resources if you like it please subscribe and share our channels to give help to anyone who need help if you have any comment send me your comment or write under the videos thanks so much for your time appreciate it and feel free to subscribe and have a great day and thanks so much